Hey guys, Raymond here from Satchin Show, and today we're actually just back from Vivo, where we just checked out the Vivo X Fold, the company's first ever foldable smartphone. So the Vivo X Fold technically isn't a new device having been launched in China back in April, but it's the first time uh, we got to take a look at it ourselves. For a quick rundown of the specs, the cover display has a 6.53 inch Full HD plus AMOLED display, while the inner display is a much larger 8.03 inch 2160 by 1916 AMOLED panel. Both the internal and external display feature a 120Hz refresh rate and support HDR10+. Vivo also says the Vivo X Fold is the world's first device to have 3D ultrasonic fingerprint sensors on both the internal and the external display. And just like the Oppo Find N, which we checked out last time, the Vivo X Fold can close completely flat without any phi gap in the middle. It even has TUV Rhineland certification and can survive over 300,000 folds. Under the hood, meanwhile, there's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 with up to 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. Now, because the device that we got messed around with was a China-only device, the Vivo X Fold that actually comes with a Origin OS skin of Android rather than the more familiar FunTouch OS that Malaysians might be accustomed to. As for the cameras, the Vivo X4 has a pretty versatile camera system with size optics. There's a 50 megapixel main camera flanked by a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle lens camera, along with two telephoto cameras capable of 2x optical zoom, 5x optical zoom, and 60x super zoom. Selfies, meanwhile, get taken care of by a 16 megapixel front facing camera. Powering it all is a 4600 mAh battery with 66 watt fast charging as well, along with 50 watt wireless charging. Now, having got to play around with it for a couple of hours, one thing that's going to be very obvious with the Vivo X Fold is just how hefty it is. In fact, it's actually one of the heaviest foldables we've seen, weighing it at 311 grams. In comparison, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 weighs just 271 grams, while the Oppo Find N weighs just 275 grams. One more thing to note is that the crease on the display is actually kind of noticeable. It's not as deep as the Galaxy Z Fold 3, but it's also not as shallow as the Oppo Find N. Also, when you're holding it in your hand, you'll definitely be able to feel that fake lever at the back. While it would help with grip, it's not something that I personally like. Though even if you're a fan of it, it's not like you can get it here anyway. Currently, there's still no news on the official availability of the Vivo X Fold in Malaysia. But Vivo Malaysia says that you can stay tuned on their Facebook page for more details. At the moment though, the Vivo X Fold is only offered in China and will set you back 8,999 yen for the one with 256 gigs of storage and 9,999 yen for the 512 gigs of storage. Now unfortunately, we don't have much more about the Vivo X Fold to share, mostly because, well, it's not actually available here anyway, so... But do let us know in the comments if you will actually consider getting the Vivo X Fold if you're in the market for a foldable. And that's been us here from Search and Show today, and bye! <laughs>